before I even start the video, I think we just need to take a moment to appreciate these vibes. Minus the freaking construction going on, like I'm literally losing my mind because all you hear is all day. No, not that kind of. I'm talking the hammering. All you hear is that all day and I'm starting to go crazy, but it's fine. I really love it out here, but there are bugs. <laughs> I just moved this plant, the basil. I moved the basil over, and as soon as I lifted it, there was like this thick, creepy, crawly little worm. It was so disgusting. Today we're sipping on an iced chai lavender latte. Made with macadamia nut milk. So good. I got the recipe from Nordstrom Cafe. But anyways, um, today I'm talking about healing. And how healing is not linear and neither is pain. I feel like healing is something that we need to do throughout our entire lives if we want to be our full, authentic, higher self. There's a lot of people that go their whole lives and don't heal or put any effort into healing, whether that be their inner child, whether that be their shadow side, whether that be their triggers whatever right i think that once you're self-aware is when your healing journey begins because like once you become self-aware um you kind of hate yourself <laughs> which is like the dark part that nobody talks about everybody talks about self-awareness like it's some like beautiful journey and like yes it is but it's also like one of the most depressing times of your life when you first discover yourself and you start becoming self-aware because you're like oh wow i'm actually a shitty person or wow that's actually really shitty that i do this thing or you know you start getting in your head about who you are and it's really easy to like hate yourself or dislike yourself or you know like just be really down on yourself so that comes with self-awareness and you're not alone if you go through that because we all we all <laughs> All of us that are on our healing journey go through that depressing time and it can last years, it can last months. I would say like the peak of my self-awareness inflicted depression would probably be 2019 to 2020. Whew. Those were some hard times, especially 2019. Oh my god, because 2019 was like the beginning. Like, I didn't even know what self awareness was. I didn't even know it was like defensive. I didn't know it was a hypocrite. I didn't know that I was self centered, selfish, whatever. Like, the things that I claimed myself to be before. And like, once I discovered that I was, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Like, I just like, I, it was just a really crazy experience. And then like, 2020 it got i got really deeper into that and then 2021 i'm healing most of those things so i find that i'm not really discovering new like toxic traits of mine i'm more like discovering the intensity that some have and um, the power that some of them hold in my life and i'm also healing a lot of them so yeah i'm kind of getting off track but i feel like when you are really self-aware you just start to find that you know you look at the world really differently you look at people differently you look at your relationships differently self-awareness usually comes with the loss of a lot of people in your life friends relationships or maybe even just viewing your siblings or your parents differently you know like you start to realize that like the whole world is all in their own frequency and everyone's doing their own thing and you have like a deep understanding of something that another person won't even notice and that's when you start to feel not better than people but you feel like more in the know and more in tune with certain things like to the point where you become frustrated with people because you're like how do you not notice this like but you feel like it's not worth explaining because they're not self-aware and they won't see it so then that comes with isolation and feeling lonely and that's another part of self-awareness that you're like whoa I feel alone, I feel like nobody understands me, and I feel like I don't understand anybody, or I understand people too much, I should say. Um, and this is not for me to sound like I'm some like woke, like spiritually aware, like guru, because I'm not. Because I know that there's people that look at me this way, where they're, they think I'm, you know, on a whole different level of their self-awareness, and they look at me like, I'm not gonna explain this to her, I'm not gonna bother with her, like she doesn't really realize, and she, she's not gonna get it. And that's okay because we're all like on our own path. Like, some of us start here, some of us are up here, some of 
it is what it is like it's just a part of the human experience i don't even know how i got into this topic that smoke is in my face <laughs> with self-awareness like i said that means a lot of things in your life will shift that means you might realize how much you fucking hate your job it might make you realize how what you're doing in school is not for you it might make you realize that the person that you love maybe they're not for you either um and that your friends are not your real friends and with this comes loss and with loss comes pain and with pain comes healing and healing is something like i said that we do our whole lives um and i mean i hope we do and it's not fun because healing is a really long journey and you feel like it's supposed to be a certain way like you heal, you heal, you heal, and then you're healed, and then you're okay, and everything's fine, and you know, you go back to yourself. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. I wish it is more like you heal, you decline, you heal, you decline, you heal, you decline, you heal, you decline. Like, <laughs> that shit is not linear. Li linear? Linear. It is not linear. Pain and healing is not linear. You can feel like you've healed and you've done the work and good you can feel great you can feel amazing and then the next day you can have a mental breakdown and cry over the same thing that you thought you were over it is confusing because like the things that i'm going through right now which one day i'll talk about um like i have been having good and bad weeks and it's like so confusing because like it started off bad <laughs> bad um i was in like a really dark place in like the first two weeks of april i wouldn't say dark sorry last year i was in a dark place this year i was in like a, a poorly lit place <laughs> and um that lasted about two weeks and then after two weeks i felt like i woke up and i just felt better and then like i felt good i felt really good for for another like week and a half like great and then like after a week and a half i felt like bad again so let's let, let me give you a visual so let's say i started down here on the first two weeks the next time i was up here and then i was down here and then i went back up and then i went back down and then i went back up it's literally like those like freaking what are they called graphs where it's like the stocks and whatever i don't know what <laughs> the forex people <laughs> i don't know anything about that it's, it's like it looks like that chart okay and it's really confusing because you're like why 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 aren't i okay like why do i think i'm okay and i'm not and what i've learned is to just hold on to the good like because what i was doing in the first bit was like i'll be like um oh it's, it's a good day but i mean how long is this gonna last like i bet you by tonight it's gonna be shitty again like and i would just like kind of wait for it to be bad again and then i realized like okay there's a pattern here like i'm up i'm down i'm up i'm down i'm up i'm down it's gonna happen why am i going to dwell on the down when i'm up when i could just enjoy the up and when the down comes to me it comes to me and i go with it as well but until then why am i going to like anxiously await my downfall i'd rather just be present and enjoy the now and enjoy the abundance or joy that i feel in the present moment and i think that's really important because then you're getting a balance because when i look back at the first two weeks of april i'm like there was no ups it was just straight like fuck it, it was down like it was all down that was linear that was like a straight line of pain for those first two weeks and what i would have wished for in those two weeks is just like a little sparks of joy you know like little sparks of joy and that's what i'm getting now except they're big sparks of joy now i'm feeling like five days great one day bad five days great one day terrible three days great two hours bad you know what i mean like it's really like inconsistent but there's more good which is really good um the bad is not as bad as it was it's like you know it's tolerable um but yeah i just wanted to share that because i wanted you to know that healing is not linear it is 
chaotic and inconsistent and all over the place, if you feel really fucking good for six days, don't be upset at yourself and don't feel weak for having a rough night where you're crying all night and you can't sleep and you're not eating. Like, just nurture yourself in those moments. Take care of yourself instead of like crying and crying and crying while staring at the wall or scrolling through Instagram, cry and cry and cry while painting your nails or shaving your legs or doing a face mask or brushing your hair because you've been neglecting that or doing something for yourself, you know? That's what I do. When I want to cry, if I'm home and I have the time, which is most of the time, I take a shower. I take a shower and I tell myself that when I get out of the shower, the tears will be left in the water going down the drain and I will just get out and I'll be a new person. It usually works. So, yeah. What I think is important is just nurturing yourself in those moments and knowing that the good is coming. And when the good is there, enjoy it. Embrace it. Don't question it. Don't wait for the bad. Just be present and let it be. But yeah, I know that was a short little message. I just felt really compelled to share it. And I feel like lately I've been feeling like, I don't know, some people call it like downloads. I watch like a lot of tarot readers and spiritual people and they all call it downloads, I think. And I think that's what I'm experiencing. I feel like sometimes I get these like messages from the universe or my guides or I don't know. I get these messages that are like, share this. And I have like, like I randomly have a thought and I'll just type it on my phone. So the thought yesterday was pain is not linear. And then the other thought I had was, um, you have to hit rock bottom. And that's like another video I want to talk about, hitting rock bottom. Like I just have like these weird little things and like, I need to talk about this on my channel. And then I just write it down. Here I am. Yeah. Let me know if it was too loud for you. I have like my AirPod in recording an additional audio on my voice recordings and hopefully that can help. Let me know if you're going through something, you want to talk about it, let's talk about it in the comments. Let's help each other out and let me know your experience with healing have you had a linear experience or have you had a chaotic little forex trading graph looking experience um yeah all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye